Have you been using this kind of list for patching methods? Or you don't even know what methods are? Then you are at the right place. Today we will learn in detail what is methods and how hackers and security researchers use them to change the functionality of a software. Say bye bye to your long list of offsets and hacks and welcome method patching library for GAM Guardian scripts. This code library contains many pre written functions like these, which allow for easy method patching without needing hex patches. We are going to learn with a real practical testing in a game. I will be using an open source game so that I don't break any terms of service of games. So let's start. A method is a collection of instructions that need to run in order to complete a task. Method can take data, process data, and return data. Let's say taxi driver is a method. You will take input of the location you want to go, will drive you to the location, and return the bill amount. The methods may not always take an input. Let's say it is a bus instead of a taxi, and the bus runs in the predetermined route. So, it does not need the location you want to go and returns the bill. If we consider that it is a free bus, then it won't ask for input nor will return a bill. Method patching means we are patching or making changes to a method written inside a software to make it work the way we want. There are many ways to do it. Let's say there is a method named take damage in a game. When the player is hit with a bullet, this function is called with input value of damage and this damage value is decreased from the health of the player. In this type of methods, we can change the value of damage and make it zero. So, even if the player is hit, no damage is lost or we can be unique and change the damage to a negative value. Now, the player will get more health when hit with a bullet. It is interesting, isn't it? Maybe we are not interested in changing the damage value. And we just want to disable this method so that it does not even run. Similarly, there can be a function called get health. In this case, we will change the return value. So, in summary, method patching means changing the working of a method by changing either the input, processing, output, or disabling the method from running. There are other advanced things like void hooking or method redirection, which we will learn in other videos in this series. Let's do practical now. We are going to use method patching library for Game Guardian. If you are new to Game Guardian, you can watch these videos from the link in the description. To install method patching library, go to this link from the description and download this code. Copy the code from the downloaded script and paste it at the top of your script. The library has been installed. We will patch a method in this game. To find a method for the game or software, we use many DOM tools or disassemblers in case the DOM is not possible. Many games are made in Unity and there is a way to dump Unity games. You can watch this video to learn in detail about dumping. After dumping, you will get a dump.cs file or you can also use the assembly csarp.dll file. You will have to search for methods in these files. Let's say you want to hack method related to damage in the game. We have to search the word damage using a text editor. After some searching, I found this method. And there is also an offset. This method is similar to the example given before. I will use hijack parameter function to pass this method. You can copy the code for hijack parameters from my side. I will go back to the link from where we downloaded the library and click on navigation. Select hijack parameters and copy the code. You can come back here for copying the code templates or learning about how all these functions work. I will paste this code in our script. Here we can see a key named libname. I will leave it 
as it is because my game is also IL to CPP. I will change the offset. And then give a parameter of float with the value 0. Now run this code in the game. Let's try to get hit from the enemy. As you can see, our player is getting hit but health is not decreasing. And we have successfully passed the method. You can now go back to my site and see all other methods and how you can use them. I am going to bring videos for each of the method on how to use them practically. If you can't wait for the video, you can go to the site and use them right now. Remember that you need to paste the blob of code only one time at the top of your script. Then you can use all these six functions. This library is in early phase during the release of this video. So there can be many bugs. You can send messages at the group if you encounter any bugs or have any confusion.